What's up YouTube, this is Weird Station here and this is going to be the kickoff for the summer season of 2023. This is going to be the peak Isekai's return and if you have little know last night I did a review, I, I was previewing the season and this is one of the more anticipated ones although there's some rare, you know reservations for obvious reasons. Mushoku Tensei Season 2. Yes Season 2, not Core 2. That was advertised as season two. No, this is actual season two. And I've talked about at the time some understandable downgrades in the visual department. There, there were going, there were going to be half. But you know, it's back. If it hold, if the visuals hold together enough, that is fine. I am more concerned about how the story will go. Now I know this part. Apparently, this is going to be Sylphie sort of stro side stories that. Were re implemented from the previous volume, light novel volumes, which would be actually be a good way to reintroduce the series. Um, and so I don't, I'm not against that. My concern is like, now that the, 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 the main beat, the main meat of the previous season staff is not available at the moment, uh, uh sounds a few other, na a few familiarizing names. Where did it, where does it go? I am um, I am relieved that this is split into two cores, so it helps. Apparently, it's going to be 25 episodes total. I don't remember if this is going to be 11, 12, or 13 episodes for this first core one. I think it's maybe 12, I'm, I would guess. Well, let's see. But yeah, this is going to be great. So, from where we last left off, Rudy, uh, Rudy was in quite the state I mean he just got dumped by Eris I mean Mr. Com communication to hand it's gonna be a while until they get back uh, and like try to see if there was anything missing there and, like I, I know they're not gonna pop they're probably not going to reunite at any point in this core like of course not Rude, um, there's there's another uh, there's gonna be more of Sophie's highlights because Sophie was on the back burner for the most part early on in the story but we know she's going to be very involved because she is Rudy's first friend actual friend you know I know there's a teacher like Roxy but that doesn't necessarily count as a friend friend but it's more like a friend as a very close associate as a teacher figure for, it, for Roxy Roxy's great I, I love her and I love Sophie too like she's at that point though like anime wise where she's not quite standout ish I mean, you know, I know she's gonna get a lot of, you know, characterization here that, you know, we didn't, of course she didn't get later on because it wasn't her time. Now, I do want to say that I did wish the story itself focused, like not, I'm not saying anime, even like the light novel, more focus on Sophie during the time that Rudius was, you know, away, you know, at, you know, away doing his whole, doing his whole like, um, uh, training with you know his time with Eris. Like I wish they should have shown more of that. Like no, not during the co not during the part after the uh, the mana the mana incident the mana incident. More so like what she was doing at the time. But I feel like we could have gotten more of that. Maybe that's I'm not saying this was absolutely necessary, but that, it could have helped, in my opinion. Like when everything is said and done. But yeah, that's that's all there's to it. Don't expect any flare up or anything. When when great looking when the great looking teens come up, need to come up, they'll come up. I'm sure of it. I know production is is hell is kind of hellish. I honestly thought they should have pushed this back an extra season to give it more time to cook. You know. But yeah, that's a, that's all I really gotta say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up uh, season uh, one. And uh, hopefully everything goes alright. Oh, I also downloaded this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bored by that one, but whatever. Alrighty, let's get to it. Um, pull up the subtitles and... Okay, we're good. Hopefully the subtitles aren't too fucked either. Alright. Is this episode zero, actually? Alright, uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to go episode 1, episode 0, episode... 
whatever. I'll try to come up with something. It, it, this 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 search option on YouTube is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass for sure though. All right, starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Okay. Um. Hoping I didn't. Did you sleep with someone? Oh, it's the that princess from before. I saw her glimpse of it. Well, the general color palettes and uh, compositing are still in play. I mean, of course, the little details are going to be the issue here. Oh, that's a bad, that's a bad, uh, tri that's a bad way to just wait, to just cut, to just end up. You're literally falling, literally falling from the sky. Ah! It's like you d just don't know how to fuck, you just fall into your death. That's the world to you, huh? He's quite the spoiled one. Oh, I know I don't have much to say. Oh, geez, that food. Wait, you're in a... No, never mind. Wrong, wrong race. Wrong race. My bad. Boy, that must be one happy family. Should be friends with Kermit, I'll just say that. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> there's just something so funny about how they go back and forth from this and that. And Sophie about to fall. No, she's gonna make it, but. Oh, jeez. A Pumba? Oh, gee, he turned into a block. <laughs> oh, they remixed it? Oh, Mono Drain. Oh, you are dead. Way the poor said just bonk. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, her what yeah, her the mana drain. That's why her hair changed. She probably had to use there's so much stress and then she had to just use it all at once. And like magic isn't something you just use willy nilly. You know, in this world. Rudy is just kind of like the way he's able to use it. He was just lucky. He had to have been lucky. Come to think of it, it's I I can see how easily it is to mistake Sylphie for being a male. 
Well, like, boy. Well, that's a bad time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that 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 thing got clapped by the by that by that disaster. I mean, you didn't have a. And thus Fitz was born. Yeah, visor. Look like fucking Antino Me from five from Yu Gi Oh five Ds. Yeah. Actually, anyone can just be doning these fucking paragraphs. I was glad. How how does wait? Come to think of it, how did they even think about? How does kind of glasses even exist? It's usually the the normal looking ones, right? I'm still wonder to this day. Just one of those bohemian mo bohemian sort of moments, I guess. It was kind of weird how those people were moving in the background. It's fine, I mean... There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of dirty shit afoot. Remember those two? Those two, from when like the uh, Eris's father was, was was it was being executed? I'm pretty sure it was Eris, it was Eris's father. Yeah. Wait, no. Grandfather. Sorry, sorry. Saros was like you know he was like he got clapped by those guys. You do like I do like how early on, like the, this way of reintroducing us is just like yeah, the world of Mushogo Tensei isn't a very cleansy one, to say the least. Always some always some always some world scheme underfoot. Nothing's like really. There's no black and white, only gray. There's a few black and distinctly black and distinctly white, you know, moments, but not much.
Oh, the talks have begun. Oh, I'll take advantage of that. I I kind of don't blame her. How like not only do you hear you sense people talk talking shit, they're just all unfamiliar. Right. After watching the ocean, after watching the ocean call, I cannot see, I cannot see my standards for singing and dance. Well, I'm as already said that they're still really high. So it's just whatever. I miss, I miss when Rudy and Ari, when young Rudy and Ari were dancing. That scene was beautiful. I just don't feel the same. Uh, um, a major complaint: um, the the people in the back, you know, they just put they just plopped on there. As you know, I'm pretty sure some of them are C, or may have been CG as well. It doesn't. It's not. It's not too much of an issue, but you notice it a little bit with a sharp eye or two. Yeah, it's some sweet talk there. But you can understand that Princess would like she's not really she's not exactly a very pure she's not a saint to say the least. Jeez. She is literally like freaking. <laughs> this is literally the this, this same yes with fucking Adar and Thorfinn, where Thorfinn be waking up fucking screaming at night early on. I can't help but think of other series sometimes. My bad. Mm. Uh, okay, she's okay. I, I have to give no. Like you, you clearly can, you clearly can sense that she's not. Like I said, she's not a saint, but she's not a. Uh, she's not an absolute pure villain. Like it's not like she's completely heartless. She's just gray. It's just how. It's just how royalty is. It's not like what she's doing for Fitz is meaningless. But you know she has her own ulterior motives. So the, the, because the, 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 one of the better moments, things I liked about Mishoka Tensei is that you can't draw, you can't draw up one particular character as the villain. 
because of how because of how morally gray everyone nearly everybody is I need both groups coming. Ariel. Oh, yeah, sure. Ariel got a lot of enemies. Mm hmm. That seems fair. That's a different. That's a different way to try to nip some of the bud, which is what sort of what you usually do. That's one hell of a boring theater play, by the way. <laughs> Oh, she don't care if you're a girl. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it outside of her to actually go through with it, though. You get the guess that she's just manipulating fits, but that she also wants to, you know, she's also looking up, you know, because she did fit, you know, Sophie did save her that, save her from that, from, from Mega Pumba that what that day, that day. I'm trying to get on to her to get so get Sophie to open up so she can be able to you know to have her trust have her trust more so Fitz could be able to help her when she when she has enemies to to face. It's messed up and all, but I don't actually hate it. It's just kind of like an interesting uh, way. Just like it's not everything. Not everything is without str is without some strings attached. I know what y'all try to try to be thinking here. I'm not gonna say it. Y'all do y'all could just draw that up on from your with your own damn conclusions. Oh, it's that girl from before. Oh, that's the assassin. That's the one. That's the girl from before that was with that fat dude. Oh. Okay. I thought there wasn't supposed to be as much action. Oh!
What's she do? Oh, wow. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. That was really cool. <laughs> it's not... Oh, she used up a lot. Was it a poison or was it mana burn? But that was poison. I think that blade was poisoned. Until Fitz came around. Yeah, it was poison. I figured why. Like, I didn't see a big cut or anything. Like, maybe a nick, but the poisons, but it was it's still, even that would be an, usually enough. Oh. This is set up. Depending on the route, depending on route, when Rudy will come along as well. You know. Like when they had that chance encounter. Yeah, that's how. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it was kind of impossible at this point. Oh shit, we're almost done. No. Mm -hmm. She's still thankful even then, because at least she is able to have a new. She was able to have a new Alicia life. No, because if Sophie wasn't there that day, the the pig, the the big pig, the big <laughs> boy would just got him, got her man. And if. Oh. This okay. This is just feels way too fast. Are you sure it's only? Are you sure that was a full episode length? Okay, to be fair, the side stories were short from what I remember. That felt too quick, though. It really did. Episode zero, Guardian Fits. Next time, the broken hearted mage. Okay. We're back, folks. I'm I'm sorry if I don't have much to you know, a lot to really say uh as I used to. Uh but it's a great but it's a great return. I'm not gonna say it's perfect. I'm gonna be honest right now. It's not a perfect uh 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 return. But, I really liked where we were at with this series right now. We're just setting, it's a way of trying to like, we've been seeing, like, the way we, we've been, we've been got, we've been put through with this series, we've seen it through the eyes of Rudius. And now, for even briefly, we were seeing it through the eyes of someone else that, and who, funny enough, wasn't given much highlights early on as i mentioned before so sophie slash fit gets gets the we get to see it through for the most part we get to see 
we were, we were introduced to the world of Mushoku Tensei through her lens. And this, from a, this difference of perspective actually fleshes out the world of Mushoku Tensei more. A little bit more insight into how, uh, how like, rough around the edges the aristocracy will go to where they'll try to kill their, their, rival, their, their, their rivals through very underhanded me means and all. And they don't, and they don't shy away from the degeneracy. You see that fat guy trying to, trying to get those guns and stuff. That was that the, the crazy thing. Was that assassin literally the same one that that was he that he was that was on her lap? I gotta look first. I forgot if it was. I do. Um... Yes, it is. It is. It is. Okay. And of course, you got the slave. Of course, she's a slave. Um. Okay, maybe not a slave, slave sorts, but like a higher, like a higher concubine of sorts. Um. There is a visual cue that I am going to point out, and I don't think I need to really say much. Is like how. Cause how rough the drawings look with the character designs, which is of course going to be the big blunder. The backgrounds are just perfectly fine. They're still great looking. And the, but then there's like that one part where they have all these these people. The way they move, I'm pretty sure they're CG. Some of them, oh well, at least. And uh, of course it's rough, but you know, what do you want to choose? Them without eyes. Or them with, or them with eyes looking dirt like that. You, 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 your choice, guys. Your choice. Um. So that's all I'm gonna say. I, I don't, I don't need to elaborate on that, any of that. So the the fits uh, back story, you know, the fits side stories. Are really interesting. They're not particularly a fair. The ones I put, I enjoy 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 as much as most of the usual stuff from Mushoku Tensei, but it's still a solid a solid solid content throughout. I do think uh, anime wise, the, it do, you know the content does feel a little trimmed, uh, and that's fine. And like just just having just having this sort of difference of perspective. And look back, you know, oh, how fit doing, you know, because remember, we, she didn't get, anyway, at least Emma, she didn't get much to, she didn't get much aside from her, from her, you know, initial meeting with Rudius and how they would quickly grow to be good childhood friends. And so, and, I'm, and people, of course, are going to have issues with uh, this part with, there's like, very loose encounters so of course this uh of course there's this part where she just disappears and all uh yeah and then there's this big ass <laughs> this big ass fucking i i, I had to call it pumbo because that that the i'm sorry this is the first thing that came out of my mouth <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Hold on. Is it even? Are they even similar? I gotta. I gotta look. Uh. Okay. So we got a shot in more here. Let me pull this up. No, not uh. <laughs> okay. Well, Puma is kind of a trimmed, uh, kind of a very disproportionate boar. So let's just put it that way. There's Bumba, and then there's this thing. <laughs> it's kind of uncanny, I guess. Maybe. Oh well, he got bigger horns, and then he's not. Sometimes Bumba can stand up. <laughs> okay, enough jokes. I liked it. The 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 soccer moments were really cool, too. Uh, there was this part right here. Oh, Jesus Christ! That. <laughs> This part, the fucking boar's head gets just 
just absolutely flattened. And they just, and the way it just pan, it's not very, they didn't, they, of course they didn't use a CG camera effect. So of course it doesn't, it may not have the same, you know, maybe not the sort of same swiveling effect, but it's still a nice touch. I, I, I know there's gonna be a lot of guys for saying, oh, that looks bad. And I'm just gonna say, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. I just don't want it to look like glop. And like even with my high standards, and I thought Demon Slayer was just a mess because all it just did was just flash, was just do a lot of underwhelming, you know, smoky effect, you know, effects in there, where it just it didn't feel like it's a balance. For here, because of where it is, they like they already have everything intact in terms of like what they want with the aesthetics. So the inconsistencies that are there, they are, they're noticeable, but they don't feel like they're detracting. My issue is that it does feel like this set. My issue here isn't really so much the visuals, honestly. It's more so how short or feeling to the point where I felt like it may be trimmed. Like, oh, we could have gotten a little bit more out of that time with fit. That time with fit slash Sophie. I'm calling her Fitz now. I'm sorry. <laughs> and of course, there's the implications. Ariel is, you know, trying to get just to her favor. Like she says, like, oh, well, she, you're 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 in danger of getting punished just for trespassing. That's why you know she, get, you know, she who roped her in to work into being in her service. But then, like when that thing happened, when she, you, of, of course, she's going to get Ariel is, is one to have enemies. Red Scrats are always always each going in each other's throat at this point for the for for power. And like details details of that, I mean, you know, I can I don't think I need to go through it too much there. Um, is there anything else to say? Fitz is, of course, you know, so see what I mean. I keep I'm calling her Fitz now. Sophie's always, you know. I'm not so sure about this one. I feel like it had to do with Rudy, or it's more like she's alone. She's alone and all. Of course, like I don't want to talk about like how how rough the animation supposedly looks. It looks like just it looks fine. It's just more like, oh, it's not a well po as polished as it could have been. But like for the most part, it's better. It's still better for anyone who thinks this is a generic. This is looks generic looking now. I I don't know what to say. What's generic anymore? Uh, that is definitely. I mean, but I don't think they're supposed to look like flashing Danny. We're not ex expecting fucking. Uh, we're not. We're not expecting these sort of umakoshi sort of designs or whatnot. That 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 would just make no fucking sense. <laughs> or kind of here, yeah. But beautiful little bit look, but that would be just a pain to animate everything else. And and it wouldn't fit either. I'm just saying. But they got the grain. They got the grainy feel, right? They got the whole color schemes, right? They got everything, like uh, most of everything else, right? It's just the in between shit, the polishing that is miss, that is of course missing. But Mishoko Tensei does know when the flare with when the flare when, when the time comes with the sakura, as they so call it, and they showed it here when. Uh, and it's pretty, it's cute. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's, it's fucked up. You know, with you know, how Arrow was do, was doing, was doing it all. Like I don't, I'm I'm not gonna try to make it look like oh, it's just, it's it's innocent at all. But it's kind of like a nice, kind of nice, you know, thing to feel warm about. Like oh, okay, they're they're not they're not you know, she it's not like they it's not like they don't one doesn't care for the other. It's just like considering that if the fact that they're they're both together there is because like. One was able to help the other in one way or another. I mean, again, even if it, even if some of that is on string, is on attached strings. 
And if I got any of the other wrong, I do apologize. I don't remember everything. <laughs> Of course, she picks that one up, and I really, I'm really impressed by it. Okay, again, it's not clean with the action there, but it does the work. And thank the Lord, this isn't a recap episode like a lot of people were initially, were, were initially like some, like I heard some people initially spoiling that, you know, leaking that it is. Whoever did fucking did that, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Whoever said that to me, please go off yourself. The lying, lying ass bastards. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe we're lying. Maybe the production isn't that bad after all. It's just not as po not as polished as it could have been because of circumstances. But maybe the sole circumstances aren't as bad. As, as the people allegedly were saying. I mean, of course, it could be that. It could be pretty tough, as they were saying. But we don't know the confirmations of that. There was business confidentially for reasons in the industry. Like, I don't, in any industry, like, why do you think they don't tell enough shit about, you know, when it comes to the medical side, medical instead of things, pro sport, like, why they don't, why they do not tell everything? Because if they tell everything, all hell break loose. A lot of people are gonna use that info for a lot of weird uh, actions, and decorations, and you can just imagine it yourself. And but that's beside my point. I don't want to drift off topic here. This episode was great. It's just like this particular part. Nothing against uh, the selfie though. I love I love her, but it's just like this part. You know, with the size words and all. It's just kind of. It's good. It's good. It's not. It's it's not great in terms of compared to what to most of everything else that's to come. It's a good way, you know, aside some nice content here and here, at the moment. But yeah, that's all we need to say, guys. Thank you, and Bushoko Tensei is back. Smash the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter. Well, Twitter's busted now because of Eon. Just well, subscribe to me. Share this video around. Support the Discord, support or head over to my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below, I think. And yeah, all that good stuff. But that'll do it. Rear session starting off. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe, y'all. Have a great day. Peace.